Hi, I'm in the garage again, charging my Ionic with my uh, my energy Zappy here, and uh, I've got it on fast charging mode, so I'm charging at uh, 6.8, 6.9 odd uh, kilowatts, so I'm not using it in its eco uh, mode, because what I want to do, I've got my thermal camera, what I want to do is uh, just have a look at uh, the temperatures in the wires and stuff, because as I mentioned, I've got six square millimeter copper, uh, going all the way back to the uh, fuse board on the other side of the house uh, six square millimeter uh, copper uh, Cable here and the main cable going off and charging the EV at the moment is also six square millimeters So that's a like a standard uh, radial uh, diameter for uh, the uh, 32 amp um, single phase outlet uh, that we've got here in Australia so I thought we'd have a squeeze at to see how um, warm this sucker gets because six square millimeters of uh, copper it's going to have a nominal resistance of about 5.7 milliohms per meter and that's because you've got copper going in both both directions so you've got to uh, double it so it's 5.7 milliohms um, total and at let's have a look here at uh, readings here at 29 there it is 29 amps there um, you can see um, the pilot, the PWM signal is at 50%, uh, percent, which is the maximum it goes, which tells the car, okay, it take as maximum, you know, the 7 odd kilowatts as maximum uh, as you can take. And it's decided I'm going to take uh, 29 amps um, at the current mains voltage. And uh, so I squared R losses, 29 amps um, squared uh, times the 5.7 milliohms, it's about 4.8 odd watts per meter so like one meter of cable like this will be dissipating 4.8 watts now um this cable here is a little bit of a breeze today and it's cold so this cable out here isn't going to get that warm but what i want to do i'm going to take you up in the roof and we're going to have a look at uh, what temperature the cable gets to in the roof so that'll be interesting the brick wall like it's it's pretty cool out here today like we're talking you know 17 degrees it is almost summer here in sydney but it is a very cool overcast uh, day so well let's have a squiz at the whole thing you can see there you go it's hard to shoot the uh, thermal camera but there you go um, well the zappy actually tells us it's 44 degrees internal so let's see what we're getting on here oh well it's showing maximum there is uh, 28 so internal is going to be more of course uh, the outside is uh, not going to be that high but yeah, the, the scale auto changes on the Fleur camera here, so a maximum of 28. So nothing here is more than 28 degrees. So you can see the center spot on the cable there, it's, yeah, it's 27. So it's practically as hot as it gets. So all the cables, you can see they are an elevated temperature. They're good at 10 degrees above ambient. Um, and you can see, I think, like the bends actually have seem to have and i can physically feel it as well the bends seem to have a bit more uh heat dissipation in them like the the lower points down here don't seem to do it so that's interesting so there's the connector this is the cable going off to the ev here and it's uh it's 24 it's going to be less as we go out because there's probably a bit more breeze Little, oh, there's not much breeze at the moment, but there was before. Yeah, 22, something like that. So it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And if we come over here to the car, there you go. That is about the connector in there. It's about 25 degrees. Uh, not very hot at all. So, of course, you know, if it's like a hot 35, 40 degree Australian day, then, uh, of course, this is going to be above ambient but you can see yeah about 10 degrees above ambient at most so let's go up in the roof have a squiz here we go here's my roof space um it's a bit how you're doing <laughs> i used to store stuff up here but uh we're sort of like rearranging the garage so i fixed that it's over there somewhere but i will uh should be able to find it there you go it's buried under there and here we go Here's the six square millimeter radial, and they call it a radial because it radiates out from the uh, junction 
from the fuse box. It doesn't. Uh, it, it's not a loop. So there it is. It's uh, it's hard to read, but it is six uh, square millimeters in there, and it's just lying there. It's not in conduit. And uh, let's have a look. It's about thirty-three, about thirty-three or so. So that is. Uh, it's a little bit higher than outside, but as I said, outside has the breeze. There's not much breeze in here. We do have uh, whirly birds to get the heat out in summer. You can see in here, once again, the ambient is about 23, something like that. So once again, it's about 33. So again, it's about 10 degrees C above ambient. And that's what you expect, of course. The uh, I squared R copper losses are going to give a, um, a heat rise which will be above whatever the ambient temperature is. And then, uh, of course, it's a radiative uh, loss. But then if you've got uh, convection uh, losses due to, uh, you know, breeze and stuff, that's why you have fans in products, of course, um, because you have uh, convection as well and uh, forced uh, convection. And there's nothing up here. There's no breeze. So it's just radiative losses. But there you go. Yeah, about 10 degrees C above ambient. That's your answer, which isn't that much. So six square millimeters of copper, um, yeah, it's more than adequate for a, a, although we're not using the full 32 amps here, because I do have a high uh, mains voltage, uh, 240 to 245 uh, volts it gets up to, especially when the solar's out. Um, so yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, so we have actually lower copper losses because it's lower current at the higher voltage, but if I was on the high, because Australia is nominally uh, 230 volts, nominal, it's not 240 volts anymore, they changed it to 230, but both my home and my lab are still um, 240 odd volts, and with the extra solar, you get a bit of a kick on there, and that goes up to uh, 245, but there you go, that's the answer, 10 degrees C above ambient roughly for a 6 square millimetre radial, catch you next time.